Manitoba. Hi, I'm Sherry Anderson from Team Saskatchewan. Watch us next on TSN. Brandon University, home of the Bobcats. But Brandon, this week is home to the Scott Tournament of Hearts. Colleen Jones, a year ago, had to sweat out a measurement to win the Canadian Championship. The third Canadian title for the skip from the Mayflower Club in Halifax. Colleen Jones, this week, surpassed 100 career wins at a national championship. A world champion, too, Colleen Jones. play the game we know that she has been a top money winner for several years but failing to burst through win the big one sherry anderson saskatchewan another team trying to win the big one the national title ontario's sherry Mada. but today a big sigh of relief they took another step beating manitoba Hi again, everyone, and welcome back to Brandon, Manitoba, TSN's continuing coverage of the Scott Tournament of Hearts. We're in the music studio in downtown Brandon, formerly the Bank of Montreal, beautifully refurbished now. And when you're in a bank, which is now a music studio, where do you think you might find the best sound? Well, follow me. The richest sound, of course, would be where else but in the vault. Say hello to Anne Jamani, concert harpist, teacher, who finds the richest sound, the very best sound, here in the Old Bank Vault. And all week long, we have been watching the best in Canadian women's curling and expecting more of the same coming up in the one-two page playoff game as Sherry Anderson and Saskatchewan play Team Canada and Colleen Jones, the defending champions. The winner going through to Sunday's final, the loser into Saturday's semi against Ontario. Linda, Ray. Ah, yes, the delicate piano stylings of Vic Router. And that is the real Vic's vault. <laughs> We had a game this afternoon that was very offensive. Lots of rocks in play. I expect to have a little bit of the opposite situation tonight. We have the most defensive team in Saskatchewan on the ice. Sherry Anderson likes to her spots, but in general, defensive minded. 23 blank ends overall during round robin play. Now, as a skip, she's got the top draw percentage at 83%. So when she does go for it, she can put it in around those guards. She's definitely the big game from Kim Hudson, who is terrific during round robin play, 82%, and a big plus on the plus minus. Now you look at Team Canada, and we see they're more defensive. But they haven't been quite as here at Scott Tournament of Hearts, and they have a huge advantage at front. Both Nancy Delahunt and Marianne Way, big numbers, big plus minus, the top of all the front ends. Now they have had a time issue in the last couple of games. That may mean they'll speed up. they more defensive minded. No. Like we always say to Colleen Jones, if she wants a big shot, she hopes she can play it with a turn hit. It's a great shot for her. Well, Colleen Jones, in the last four years, Linda really has become a solid, solid. Yes, we question sometimes some of those shots she calls, but she makes them work, makes them work for her. And nobody in curling, as you've heard us say many, many times, out hit this team. Sherry Anderson, she's been on top of the money list for a long time. She's trying to break. This is her chance. Colleen Jones is the world champion. And Sherry Anderson has a chance here to knock her off. Classical music. We're hoping for a classic game. Come back. The 2002 Scott Turn Hearts on TSN is brought to you by Scott Town with Sponge Pocket. You out a big message. 
Well, just one game on the ice here at the Stone Center, unlike the regular round robin, when all four are in play, our feature game is on sheet C, a battle of one and two. Saskatchewan finishing first over with a record of nine and two. Team Canada getting second with their record of eight and three. The winner to Sunday's final. The loser will slide into semi against Ontario, who were a winner over Manitoba in this afternoon's quarterfinal. Sherry Anson and Colleen Jones ready to do battle as we read the ice now with Maestro Ray as brought to you by Ford. Sweet music. Sweet ice as does it curl around that center guard about four. It may go a little more to move through the game, but four. Around the corner guard, inside out. Once again, four. I don't think it's better than a 12 foot, but a 12 and four feet. From the outside in, it holds early and breaks left about three to three and a half. We talk about it all the time. I'm going to mention it again. We throw the weight on this ice. The outside will run straight. Also, along that four foot line, be careful because it'll run straight and break late. Now, when you're coming across this hog line, especially when you move this slide path area in here, start to move and they go to time. So, brushing is key. Let's meet the two teams representing Saskatchewan. Lee Donna Geniac, Sandra Mulroy, Kim Hodgson, Sherry Anderson, the Delisle Curling Club, and Team Canada, the defending champions, Nancy Della, Marianne Way, Kim Kelly, Colleen Jones, out of the Mayflower Curling Club in Halifax. And as you expect, just in the province next door, a lot of support for Saskatchewan but and Sherry Anderson. Anderson will play the Stones. She will have the hammer, so she had a piece of hammer. And stone, she got them both by virtue of her first place clear finish. Nine and two. Team Canada will play the Yellowstones. Colleen Jones makes her way up, puts the brush down for the first stone from Team Canada lead, Nancy Delahunt. Linda, just before we get started, a couple of congratulations. First of all, congratulations of to Vic Rather not using tournament of harps. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was an automatic. Okay, huh? Secondly, more seriously, congratulations to Sherry Madaw, not just for them, for the way they handled no, Jennifer no, Jones' right up. The team was absolutely classy. There was no jumping, no cheering, no anything. They took their victory like champions they are, and it was fantastic. Because sometimes, you know, you know, Sherry know, knew how Jennifer felt, and the whole deal. So that is a very, very classy thing. Touché. No. And thanks to both teams, it was a very entertaining game this afternoon. Fabulous shot. It came down to last rock, a very difficult shot. And they both were just tremendous on the ice today. Yeah, that's the kind of shot, you know, in your interview with her, uh, Linda, uh, Jennifer said, you know, I, I drew well all week and I felt that, uh, well, make it easy. I, I didn't feel uh, that there was any yeah. chance I would miss it. I think maybe she got caught a little bit, it got right outside up. a little bit, maybe ran a little freer before it got the slide path and didn't curl. And just one of those things, and yep, we say it all the time, yep, yep, and yep, it's yep. worth being, I think, is that you have to win. lose, and that's something that for Jones, uh, that was his first got tremendous experience. They had a great a run for the week, okay. and I'm I'm just a little too Ooh. heavy on a draw, okay. and we can name a whole a lot of curves. Just a little too heavy on a draw. Well, unlike yes, this yes. afternoon, game between hi, Ontario hi, hi, hi. and Manitoba, Stone went right in, there. and now we're oh, down the sheet oh, playing oh, Lee's own. Donna Jean yet, Saskatchewan with the hammer. Not taken Early in her game, she's very careful about picking her spots. We've had great feel for the ice week. Okay. These are the ice times, hog hog times, and we talk about hits about nine seconds, half, 11 and a half, drop, 14 to 14 and a half. It stayed in that range this afternoon, and the guards are 15 and a half plus. But the Anderson, although they have the field, know the speed. Right her hip is drawing beautifully. She waits and waits for her opportunity before Sherry takes big chances. Well, this is Catherine front end. I pointed out that they're really going to have to play well because this front end with Mary and Nancy is as good as any, and the numbers certainly showed again this year. They are amazing. They're great brushers, but as far as throwing goes, we're the best during round robin play. So Sandra will have to play very well as Donna is lead for Saskatchewan. Yep, okay. Yep, figure it out. Go, Sandra. Sandra Mulroney. This is uh, quite a contrast to what the first end was this afternoon. We saw uh, Jennifer actually end up with a all kinds of bucks in the forefoot, and she ended up with a bucket. We just slipped too far and got two points. And then it started from that 
Dawn in the next end, uh, the dog went after her, got her points back, so it was a very offensive game. Offensive shots and lots of come around. This ice is conducive to playing that kind of game. It's a wonderful ice service. These two teams have different styles. They give it to the defense, as Linda mentioned in her opening comments. And then they'll pick their... But we earlier in the week, Linda, this is a change for Anderson and Saskatchewan. This is this isn't the old cherry, this is the cherry. Well, we've seen her play the open game well, but you're right, Vic, is a little bit more defensive this week. And I think that what's remarkable is how her time has been impeccable. She does wait, she does not take the chances, but when she goes for it, she really does go. But play the other game, they both can, but I mean, uh, Sherry, I mean, did she steal about uh, $60,000 one skins game? <laughs> True, yeah. You know, it's you know, all kinds of rocks in play. Sherry would love uh, to, to take the next step, and obviously, if you can win this game, she gets herself to a final. Nice way, Kim. We know that uh, Colleen can do it. She's won three times. Sounds great to it, girl. And she is the reigning world. Yeah. That was her big step, her next step. The Canadian championship three times over, but winning the worlds. Certainly took the yep. pressure off her. Kim Hodson. Yep. 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 And it is yep. about to Kim's. Well. Kim Hodson has been terrific. And if you have a front end that's struggling, or at least playing against a front end that's so terrific, it may be Kim Hodson that is the key for Saskatchewan. And she really has given us everything. Her hitting game is superb. That is probably her strength. I told both these teams, you know, you can't, uh, you got to get some rocks in play because I can't go more than three ends with my teleter not being used, otherwise it seizes right up on me. <laughs> oh, you used it enough this afternoon, yeah, maybe it'll it was, be okay. I was going crazy. You, right, sir, you were filling in circles. Yeah. That was new. I like every year to try something different. Hey, and, uh, good idea. You don't, you never just stand pat. No. Life, you don't, you know, as you move through life, <laughs> you try different things. Challenges. Try different things. Yep. Victor does it, but most people try different <laughs> things. <laughs> I know for a fact that we go out tonight. A little smoked salmon, please. Perhaps a Caesar salad. Maybe. Perhaps a Caesar salad. Maybe. I will have one glass of Malini. Yes, just one. And one more, and one more, and one more. <laughs> well, they've moved the rock around and done a great job in executing these hits. I should try. So skip on here in the first wide open rock in and they've exchanged Why? since then. Yeah. Now one thing that we'll have to take and make a note of is this team Canada and their time. That's been a big problem. Three, three games this week and in two of their late games, including the last game of round rob was a problem for them. A huge problem. Both the game against Catchwin. Colleen could not her time with her shot, and that's the key with her success. She missed it. And she has. Wow. And that'll change the complexion of this game right away. It will. Put the rings, try and get the two, and Team Canada will have to get them and get rocks in play. That's really unusual. That was a turn, which we know that she uh, throws them both very well, but prefers the out turns. And she just got it started. And when you do an ice, it moves like this. You get it started out of the release. But she did, obviously, and just got it rolled over a little bit. And away it went. And got the rushers couldn't hold it. Minus. It's a difficult scale. Just remember the the plus, the better. And look at the huge differences. Between minus five at lead to the plus five for Team Canada. That is a big swing. Another big one at second. Not quite so assured with Saskatchewan. Kim Hudson having a little edge. And look at the numbers for the skips. Dead even at plus six. They were two of the top. Which was the highest number during round robin play. 
So we see that advantage for Team Canada, but a big mistake here. Pauline, already for Saskatchewan to get you. And we know from experience, and we've watched this team many, many times, the Anderson team, the Green Machine, that they can defend very, very well, and they'll be hitting everything in sight if they get a little jump. And it looks like they're going to get one right here with a free draw, open draw, we call it, to the eight foot for the second point. We were corrected on that very early. Yeah. Yes. I don't remember the lady's name. Harriet Artis. Harriet, Harriet Artis. Artis. Lori Artis. Yeah. Wow. Said it's not uh, not a free. There's nothing free about it. No. Nope. She says, Ray, everything you have to work for. Yeah. It's an open draw. That's yeah. That. Yeah, funny what stays with you. Because that was probably back around 19. 36 or 37. <laughs> yeah, I think so. It was, it was, it was yeah. way back there. Yeah. This is a big point. This is a huge start for Saskatchewan if they can take the second point. Still enough. Right to the can if you can, guys. Still looks like lots. Have a look. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're good. We were talking 14 right to 14 to and a half oh, even this early, and Sherry says, take it to the button. I want to see a draw to the button early so I can think about that for the rest of the girl. game. Thanks. Good sweep, guys. Nice throw. We're going to take it right into the fourth foot four. Nice shot. Saskatchewan will open with two, taking advantage of the Pauline Jones miss. The 2002 Scott Tournament of Hearts on TSN is brought to you in part by Husky and Mohawk, leaders in fuel, food, and convenience. By the Cake Steakhouse and Bar. For great steaks, good friends, see you tonight by Whirlpool Home Appliances, proudly supporting extraordinary Canadian women athletes and everyday champions across the country. And by JVC, excite your senses. Either cheering for Canada or some hurling leprechaun. I'm not quite sure. Some Team Canada fans here at the Keystone. And their team has fallen behind early. Saskatchewan scoring Good two. Good and so first stone from Saskatchewan, back edge of the eight, and Make up a, goes the corner from Team Canada. Just a little example of what I was talking about. We don't like to pick on people, but Donna struggled that little bit. Her rock was supposed to be top four, just slides to the back of the eight. Colleen gets the corner guard. And now that rock at the back of the house is actually a benefit for Team Canada, potentially could be used later in the end. Top house on its own. Now we're okay. Keep it clean. Just cleaning. We're top four. Just cleaning. Should be all right. Yeah, that's all I'm doing. Very nice, Donna. Shot. That's better. Wait, Wait from her. One of those things is not easy to be a lead and get that MVP award, but Nancy did it and she has been a terrific lead for several years at the Scott. Run it back. Oh, just by. And then look at the roll. Wow. Look at that. Absolutely great roll right in Hi. behind the guard. Sandra Mulroney gets it off. Leaves the corner still up though. That gets rid of the two Team Canada stones. Out turn, yeah. come around. She likes Brandon, doesn't she? She does, and a lot of people do. Where? Great Where ice here, and it's a wonderful she place to play. Very they're appreciative they're audience. Yeah, Actually, they're Jennifer they're Jones they're mentioned they're that to me, and Terry Middaw mentioned that to me this afternoon. Very knowledgeable crowd here. Really know when to Hard applaud. <laughs> Oh. But how far back because of the brushing? 
slides just a little too far. Second shot. It actually comes out the other side a little bit, Vic. Nice shot, Those two. guys. They just had to brush it to get it by. You can see it peek out the other side. Four shot. You like that? Okay, that was 14 1. Too. For a moment, they thought they were going to lose it, but you have to wait on those to get them to break. Brushed it late and got the eight foot. Call your shooter to here. You can see she got it right in behind that guard. like it may be two. Saskatchewan without here in the second. We're one and two now, Kim. But the yellow one's in an awfully it's nice spot like for Team Canada. Yeah. yeah, they could tap that back. Do this, but she just coming but down she here. She comes around it. We can see what the situation is if we peel, you know, we peel the guard. If I peel the guard, we're we one and two. We could no peel double. this. What if we peel? What if we peel our guard? That guard? Oh. If you peel this one out. That's not bad. Then she'll just, she'll just come around in behind this. One and two. Yeah, if I peel our guard, what are they doing? They could split a little bit. If you peel the guard, they're going to okay yeah. tap oh, this one back. That. Tap the other one back. They're going to peel. Yeah. Looks like they're going to peel this one off, and then you'll see Team Canada come down and probably just yeah. tap that one back. But you could see their dilemma. If you leave this up, it's just going to be a series of shots played around that corner guard. If you pick the yellow one out, they'll just come around it, make it better. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Hurry! Oh, clean oh. only, just clean, clean. Linda, we talk about... Shot. a girl. ...strategy in games that are... It's tough to understand if you're... Bump, a, Cam, a yeah, basic club curler, and that's it. one of them, taking off your own guard. Well, it is, except that you can see how that is now going to benefit the team with Last Rock, and that is Team Canada. There is really no way to get around the fact that they have one rock in the house, and Team Canada can maneuver around it. Line's what great, you guys. Saskatchewan's That's hoping is that Team Canada will make a mistake, make maybe sure. set up a double. That, that way they can get out of this. Line straight now, yep. Hard all the way. Hard losing line. Hard all the way. Hard Line's hard great. Hard. Line's great. Hard. Pumped it a little too far. If it stops a foot and a half shorter, it's perfect. Half stars, I guess. Even if you roll to there. Is there a jam? No, they're almost level. Very good. Well, the movie Men with Brooms is about to premiere across the country, and the cast, including Paul Gross, Leslie Nielsen, were on off the record. You have a chance to see it Monday at noon Eastern at 9 a.m. Pacific. Men with rooms. Yep. No, I do well full. How it hard. Lot yep. of yep, yep, yep. Normal. Yep. Hurry. Easy. Roll, oh, sound roll. I want to roll it. Well, 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 well. It's like coming around that yellow one. 
couple of Looks options. Like you can come yeah. around this way here, okay. or you can come around Same and sit left. right there. Same. A little less. Yeah. A little less, guys. Kim Kelly. Make sure. Make sure. Saskatchewan line Divine three, straight, but guys. it's Team Canada with the hammer. Hard! Right up. Hard! Marianne Wade. Closest hard to the stone. Hard Nancy Delahunt right out right in front. Hard! Right up! Hurry! Hurry, 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 hurry! Trying to take it right down. Put it on the corner and they'll Shot put it back into side. the four. You know, I wouldn't mind a tick something, but I don't want to remove too many. Should be room to pick up. If I could just tick this, get rid of this one on my shooter. He's still sitting one or two, but even a straight Okay, wait a minute. Where's our shooter thing. going? What were you just saying? Well, I'll just pick it out, but if I tick this, you know, just clip this on the way by to remove this one. Yeah. Where, where's our just shooter? Just not to give her quite so much. Money. I know. But I don't mind just a pick. Kim. So are you playing for our shooter just to roll to here? No, I'm planning to get out of this. But get you're just rid of plain it. picking then? Yeah. Okay. Then I'm calling for the pick and not to touch anything? Right. All right. But if I do, just clip that. I'm worried about hitting this, too. Shouldn't, but no. Okay, got it. You heard the explanation. Just picking this one. Pick it? I think just pick it. Yeah. Pick I think this, if pick I clip this one my back, then I wouldn't mind to remove one of ours, but I don't want to remove You heard no. her talking about maybe trying to so we'll catch it. this she one a little bit, but that's kind of dangerous. Pick. She'll go this way. Hey, girl. Effie, break to it. You can see that Colleen is setting up things that she likes in the back of the eight foot opponent's rocks, and Sherry's not happy with little pockets that are developing there, but she can't do a lot about it. You have to make sure you get rid of this one. Skip Stones in the first from Saskatchewan, yeah. Sherry Anderson. Mulroney, yeah. Genia, yeah. just looking yeah. to pick it out. Pick it. Okay. They'll get rid of the back one. All right. Okay. All right. Line two for position. sure, maybe three. Shoot. But the rocks are sitting nicely for Colleen, Vic. She can get Same down on the face of this now or around, in behind right? the corner guard. I'm not worse. On this here, down into this area here. Are we number two Corner. by any chance? No. No. Okay. Hair less, Nance. Hair less again. Four. Colleen Jones in her first. Line's great, line's you guys. Great. Line's great. Hard, hard line. Hurry. Hurry. Hard, hard. Wait Hurry, there. guys. Hard line. Hard. Okay, watch, watch out. Go. You're good. Whoa. Heard ya. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shot. Shot. Little bump. Line one. That's a good shot. Good call on the weight. One shot, Colleen. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Wow, I can't take that ice. Didn't go crazy. That looks good. No, but she was a little heavy. Yeah, I know. I think I need out there, Kim, for me. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Uh, no bump, but I want to get to to the face of it if I can, or, or quite a bit of it, because then I'll just give her a nose. I got more ice than her, but Sandra, I gave you just like I gave you edge of button, and you it finished pretty good. Like she kind of, I think I need this much. Yeah. Right. Fourteen and a half. Yeah. 
close to probably what you threw here. A little less. Left? Okay. So right down on the face of it? Lots of oh, lines. Slide, guys. Well, Sherry line. Anderson. Oh, gotta go. For wait, don't you? Okay, you gotta wait. Can't go by the time, guys. I well, you still gross. have to wait if you can. Clean. It's Clean. Wait, wait, wait. I slid gross. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. wait looks good. Go. Right, there they go. Oroni and Jean Yak trying to take it right down and put it on the face. Same as what you threw your last draw. So it would split up. Wow. What's that? This is what she was best at all week, and that's putting the draws into position. Yeah. Great yeah, brushing, though, to get it there. It looks pretty close, yeah. 14-2. So, so full okay, four, again. piece of the button. Team Canada, that's what Colleen Jones is facing with her last one here in two. That's what you call gluing it on the face. Careless again, Nance. It's quite an achievement. Yep. It's good. Yep. You got to keep it on this side. Yep. We have hard, 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 Make a note of the time change. We're just one half hour earlier for the semifinal coming up Saturday at 7 Eastern. We've usually been on at 7.30, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. It will be Ontario against either Saskatchewan or Team Canada. The loser will play Ontario. The winner goes right through to Sunday's final. That lady in the uh, shades there, they're all in shades. Well, the one <laughs> second from the, the one right, second right? from the right, touching her shades right now. That'd be Meredith Doyle and the Nova Scotia champions. And uh, here, because they really share the same club, Meredith and her Nova Scotia team curling out of Mayflower and Halifax, and also the Truro curling clubs. But here to support Colleen Jones. <laughs> the lady in the shades. <laughs> I thought yeah. I wasn't wrong, was no, I? Oh, you oh, no, no. tough Lane. to be wrong on that Whoa. one. Lane. Whoa. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. Good shot. Good dance. Nice shot. Donna Juniak tried to come around, just ticked the front one and rolled just to a biter, which was hit. And now there's those two yellows, and Cherry doesn't like both of them out there. Couple great shots in that end, three or four really nice shots. Yep. Freezes. Oh, easy. Up the hair. Come arounds. Well, then we'll off, off. Girl. Yeah, let's uh. see. Okay. All right, Donna. Mary Ann Way. Colleen is patient. She'll just hit this and try and get the little roll. Easy. Yep. Yep. Hurt. Hurry. The thing you have to be careful with is the Saskatchewan team. They can really protect the lead. <laughs> and uh, we saw them do it three or four times this week through the round robin. Take a two point okay. lead and just okay, run with it. If you let them get a second deuce. Ooh. It's going to be okay, very right tough, all right. but you can see what she's going to do. She's not even Just taking right a chance there. on this. Lights out, Mother Brown. <laughs> Whoa. Control. Whoa. Just control. Just oh, regular. Up. Up. Throw. Put it in. 
in. Whoops. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Halfway. Out in front, halfway is what you said. But you see, it's something that we've always said here. You can go back to the world champions halfway. last world championships last year in right Lausanne. And, A little tighter. You, know, you question the scouting report on people and in two hands, man. And how they the opposition looked at Team Canada and what we said was why wouldn't you put stones in play because that isn't necessarily the way that Team Canada wants to play. Can does the same thing hold true here when it comes to Saskatchewan realizing that why aren't they being more aggressive? And why is it Saskatchewan being more aggressive against the team which we perceive and has shown to have or not yes, like yes, to have yes, stones yes. in play. Well, you're right. We have said that a lot about Colleen, but what we've seen now from Sherry Anderson is she is very patient. She is not totally defensive minded, but she will not take chances when she doesn't have to. And for her, let's face it, over round robin play, they were the best team. So they have found that that's the winning formula. If it had been Sherry Anderson giving up the deuce early, you would have seen a bigger switch, I believe. I could I couldn't be more. Another center guard. It a you got to be a little careful in this situation, Victor, because what's going to happen well, here is that guys. Kim's going to throw this out in front, and Sherry may well, run it girl. one more time, but if you throw it up again, then she'll take a chance to get the deuce, which would give her a 4-1 lead. So you got to be careful, and this is a long guard with this ice the way it curls. She's liable to go right in behind it. No, sir. No, well, this is interesting. And three bags yeah. full, sir. No, sir. I was just asking Linda, sorry, Ray, that, you know, she lost two games, Sherry Anderson. One of them was to PEI, which we sort of will say was a, a, a blip because of PEI's record. But she also uh, lost to uh, Manitoba, clean, who we know was a very clean, aggressive team, Linda. Well, clean, clean, yes, clean, clean. although we did see that a little bit of that game. It was the last round of round robin play. And Jennifer Jones faced three Saskatchewan Rocks. I think at least four times, three or four times, and made huge saves. So actually, Sherry Anderson's plan in that game was fine. She just faced a very hot Jennifer Jones in that situation. Kim Kelly. This is a clear plan, though, Ray, the way Sherry's approaching this end. Yep. you got to be careful here, though. They put this out in front. Room. Wait's nice. Long, got room. This is the call into Rotate. the rings. Line on this gives will give it doesn't get uh, you don't get this berry this will give uh, Sherry Anderson yeah. a chance to Lean back a bit okay. hit and roll, but a pretty good shot Half. Yep. Oh, give me this control yeah no okay. more eh? you take that yep yep interesting there because you, you could play them. this quietly and just tap it back with light hack weight oh. and get a little flip in behind the guard but she's she's just playing it to get it out of there this is a very clear plan there was a good opportunity to come around the two guards if sherry anderson oh, had wanted easy. to normal here there's a good opportunity to just tap Close she is in, yeah. just going to keep yeah. it as simple as possible Aroni and Geniak backing whoa. off and they will roll the shooter out the back I, I disagree with that call for sure. I think it was an opportunity to get to, to just tap it back and get behind the corner guard and try and pick up your two, and you really, you know, put a stranglehold in this game. But uh, Sherry, as you say, has got a plan, and Same. that certainly wasn't part of it to take any kind of a chance by trying to get a little flip behind the corner guard. Sink a bit. Pardon me. Sink a bit. Yeah. Like it? Of all the shots that Colleen plays, this would be considered her weakness. Her yeah. intern draws are below 70%. All her other shots are pretty strong. Mine's nice. Mine's great. Mine's great. In a minute. Hurt. Coming real nice. Hurt. Every, every bit. bit. Every bit. Every bit. Every bit. Don't stop. You got a pistol. Hurry, 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 hurry. Short. 
Okay, it's a great That's shot. a great sweep, you guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> Again, you can see about the uh, same amount. Okay. Same weight as yours. She's just trying to hit and roll to the open, what it Vic. Was, to be sure. You want to stick around, though, eh? Yeah. Yeah. I can just see normal. Yeah, I think I can throw basically no, the same thing. Let's try and roll over here. No more than that. I'd like to stick around way over on the wings there, okay. Donna, if you can. Okay, straight to the stick girl. Anything else? <laughs> this is nice for the roll anyway. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, Kim. I'm good shot. Perfect shot. Yeah, a little bit. Too far in there. I'm in the curfew. Not your favorite shot? Hair last net. Do you want to go all for the roll? Uh, sure, if it's going. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna, I don't know that I'm going to give you that kind of weight that it'll go, but, you know. Sure, we'll roll her if she's rolling. Yep. Yeah. Now, this is her favorite shot. This is the one she loves, and she's very good at throwing it. Roll. Looking for the it. big roll, if she can get it. Hard. Hard. Three. Okay, we're not rolling. Hard. Hard on it. Now roll it over. And we'll stop it to the four. So a chance to blank for Saskatchewan here in three. This is one of those cases for Sherry. You've played very conservatively this end. You had a couple of chances to maybe set up a deuce. You definitely want a blank. Yeah. Next down. Girl, happy. Yep, yep. Hard. Yeah. Oh, she knew it oh. right away. What? Other way? She got it started. Oh, All right. Sorry, guys. Magnet. Right on the beak to okay. sit there. Okay. So Anderson's plan to blank fails. She takes one. She leads. Team Canada has the hammer back. Sports Center comes your way 10:30 Eastern Time, 7:30 Pacific. The Raptors are playing. They'll uh, probably preview qualifying for the Australian Grand Prix. Formula the one season starts. Well, there, this is where you see the difference in styles, yep. Victor. Yep. Uh, that rock is touching, first thrown in there, touching the top of the forefoot, and Colleen is hitting it. <laughs> and Good Sherry Madaw, nice two down. Uh, Jennifer Jones, two down uh, with the hammer, going to ignore that stone and throw up a corner. <laughs> now, throw a corner, but she'll wait till she gets the stones in a better position, away from the forefoot. And the difficulty with that, of course, is that you get beyond the free guard zone rule and the stone can be peeled out. And we've already seen from Sherry Anderson that she looks like she's going to keep it very simple tonight. Just clean. Every night if she can. That's, that's her style, too. Yeah, sorry. She'll throw the corner up now, but as Linda has just mentioned, the corner can be peeled if Sherry so desires. Should be fine, I think. Yeah. It's not too, too much, though. There. That's good. Good man. Yep. Nice shot. Smattering of cupping. Yes, hard! 
Sandra Mulroney. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead, Ray. Can't ask for more than that, can you? No. The mistake you needed, chance to go around. I guess the argument is, Linda Ray, when you're playing like this, you're playing and hoping for mistakes. Is that basically it, Linda? Yeah, that's exactly it. If you didn't get that stick on the front rock, this come around would not be possible. Your line's fine, you guys. Where yeah. to go with your We're first tone, they can't peel it. Sorry, line's fine. Yeah. Well, all three of us can remember the, you know, all those years and games that we watched, Vic, over the years, where the, without the free guard zone rule, you know, two to one, three to two, you know, because the talent, I mean, and it is a talent to peel stones. It's a big talent. Marianne Way makes the come around. Now, that is one thing we do know if Sandra Mulroney continues to stick on shots like that. Marianne Way is going to go around them and bury those shots. She's very good at that kind of drop. This front end from Team Canada will really hurt you if you make mistakes. Still 289. Yeah, well, well, hit her in the corner. That's okay. Hit. It's a good Man team. Park. You don't get to be a world champion by you know, paying to get your name in the program. You have to go out there and, and, and play. Half. And just like that, now Team Canada is lying Are two you me half? with no, the hammer here in the fourth. Less. Two that would tie no, the game. About a third or quarter. <laughs> okay, yeah. You can give me, you can give me fur. What do you want? Peel? Yeah, I want peel. Okay. Okay, straight up, girl. This little lady can play. Yeah, this is hard. her shot. Hard, 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 hard. Quick! Yep. Yep. Roll on top, Hurry. Sandra. Whoa for the roll. Whoa, 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 whoa. Caught in between, Linda. Might as well brush it right out then. Don't leave it around right. for a potential jam. Yeah. Must have gotten that started, Ray, because I think they called right out of her hand to sweep. And one of the things that the coaches across the country can keep in mind that uh, when they're you know, when they're working with young uh, junior teams, you don't have the same kind of worry when you work with the men's juniors teams because most of them can uh, you know can throw the up weight, Linda. But when you're working with the women's uh, junior teams, it, it is part of the package that you have to develop, and that's the ability to be able to throw uh, you know some up weight. Uh oh. Yep. Kim Kelly, too heavy, too far. It is. Kim. Hey, girl, stick it. Sorry, Kim. She knows she just missed a golden Jeez, opportunity. I thought that was okay. I was, it was a 60, a 59, actually. That 59, were you referring to what time? Those are those splits, the back line to hog. And we talk about a 3.75. They're not using the three. But the number is lower. That means it's traveling too quickly to the hog line and slides through. Colleen will try and get the blank now. I said to you earlier today when Jennifer Jones was yeah, playing, Kim was. 
Right, and in comparing there, the yeah. games, Linda, that girl, so much Jones, with the way she plays, <laughs> would seem to be a person full of confidence, <laughs> confident yeah, in her I, team. Straight to it, girl. That doesn't suggest that Colleen or Sherry in this situation is any less confident in themselves or their team, is it? It is not. Actually, these are all top-level teams. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jennifer Jones does show a great 15. strength as a skip to be able to Clean. face a situation Clean. where an end hasn't worked Clean. and you have to save. Yes. And not everybody can do that. But Sherry Anderson and Colleen Jones can do that. They just feel their best chance of winning is to play a slightly different style. 10, 15. Could we have a roll on top of that guy way over there? Or is it high enough? Sorry about that, Skipper. Oh, that's all right. We'll have another chance. Yeah. Long game. Yeah. Trying to get my delivery under control. Good this comment. One. What's that? Skip Kim knows that she cost him a point here. <laughs> Potentially a point. I mean, you could hit a little out or something. But, you know, that was a... Uh, last man. No, no. That was a freebie. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Let's slip away from you. And there's no sense in beating her up nope, over it. Yeah, nope, right. it's over, done. Let's move on. You know, I'd be kicking down the scoreboard. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just not a shot we normally see can we Kim go for that miss. Wing or no? Oh, watch that back one, man. Just clean. Yeah, way over, Kim, with just it. Yep, yep. Clean. Watch your back. This is a spot that you have to be a little careful Throw if you step right the way down. Okay. That, come, that should come Hello. that much, but... Stick around, main thing. Out here, going towards the, the 12-foot, the room is being is held. Spot, you have to be a little right careful there. you don't hey. overthrow it and never put it back, because it won't come, okay, come for you. Timing straight out. Jerry Anderson in the last for the Saskatchewan Normal. skip here in four. Team yep. Canada, Colleen yep. Jones with the hammer, yep. trailing 3-1. Whoa, it's clean. Whoa, it's clean. Nice soft throw. Done. No extra weight. Might as well go, Donna, right over top of that one. Yep, that's good. That's going to cut two nets. Yes, I agree. Pop her off. This is gonna walk here. Can't play the blank with the other turn because there is a rock just outside the back yes, of the house. Throw us, throw us a nice one Might jam it if you tried that, so she'll play it with this turn. She said it's a little tricky here, might go a little bit. That means the brushers have to be ready. Yep, hard. Looking for the yep. blank here in four. And won't get it. One yellow. And she's shaking her head. In turn. No! It was. No! It's starting to get annoying. No! No! Let's meet these two teams. No! Throwing the leads for Team Canada. Nancy Delahunt for Saskatchewan Donna Geniac. The seconds are Marianne Way. And Sandra Mulroney. Third stones, Kim Kelly and Kim Hodson. And the skip for Team Canada to the Mayflower in Halifax, Colleen Jones. And from the Delisle Curling Club, Saskatchewan champion, Sherry Anderson. as we go to the fifth in this game, but this, Linda, is what they did in round robin. And they did meet very late in round robin, played draw 14, and it was a very interesting game. Look, after three ends, it was three to one, but it was a steal by Saskatchewan that took them to that score. But interestingly, the two thirds, similar numbers, actually exactly the same as 79%. The teams, the same numbers. 
The biggest difference in round robin play was that Sherry Anderson curled 87% to Colleen Jones' 76. And Vic, that was one of the games where Colleen was starting to run out of time and had to kind of rush her last shots and did give up that deuce in the final end. Colleen threw the first rock into the rings, and so that allowed Sherry Anderson to hit it. She didn't put it out in front on the center line. Try and, uh, try and steal or anything. She just prepared to play this uh, end wide open as well. And yeah, yeah, it's quiet. Hopefully try and get a quiet. Force uh, Sherry Anderson to take a single so she can get the hammer back. Patient she is. Guess we still can't do the center, given that this will be out of the rings, though. Working this up, it'll be out in front it's soon. Handy. Oh no, it's touched. Mary Ann Way. Yep. Hard. It is difficult to expect, though, that teams like this are going to stick on all their blank attempts. It's actually pretty unusual. We've already seen one by each team. Can't keep banking on that. Queen. Just queen. Got a girl. This is the way the page system works, of course. If you're not familiar, Earlier today, Manitoba played Ontario. Ontario won, so they advanced to the semi. The winner of this game will go right through to Sunday's final, while the loser will drop into that semi against Ontario. And we will have the semi final for you Saturday night. And just make a note of the time. It's a half hour earlier than we've been the entire week through round robin play. Seven Eastern time, four Pacific. Either Saskatchewan or Team Canada will be playing Sherry Madaw and more. Ontario. Okay, then. Easy. Yep. Clean. Yep. Yep. Good. Not a girl. Good. Good. Are we getting out of the rings yet? Not quite. No, the stone's been moved around, so the nose hits haven't resulted in a rock out in front. Yep. Close. Yep. Whoa. 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 Big way. Whoa. Yep. Yep. Hurry. Yep. 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 Hurry. 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 Oh, don't go over there. Okay. Okay. Straight up, girl. Well, you might expect that. I mean, there was somebody that just, you saw the reaction to by Sherry Anderson and somebody yelled down. It was, it was less than exciting. Please, normal. And Sherry just raised her arms and said, that's the way it goes. Well, uh, well yeah. Sherry Anderson doesn't yeah. have to panic here. She's the one with the hammer and the single point advantage. So she doesn't have to push any buttons. They didn't yell down less than exciting though. They no, didn't? They, no, they yelled down, boring! <laughs> <laughs> That's a synonym, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. On the blue line. Yep, 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 right up. Hard! Hurry. Hard, girls! Hard for peace! Curling, for some reason. <laughs> Hurry! Right up. No roll, Marion. You certainly can't, uh, in any fashion, uh, Can't mind that I give you a Suggest uh, yeah. that nice. this is wrong for, for Sherry Anderson. This is perfect for her. That's the way everyone would play it. Kim Hudson. Top edge of the button. No. Execution is terrific. No. Well, if we were up one, maybe. 
clear up one, maybe. Would be a little more enjoyable. Hard to get anything going, though, when they won't let you. Well, but Kim, you have to throw it out <laughs> in front with your first foot, not into the rings, and then you can get something going. Yeah, it's, it's not a question of let. You have to be the first to go if you're behind. she goes the rumor is that actually uh, she didn't uh, drive from Saskatoon she ran she down ran here see her with her little brush and her little bag coming down <laughs> <laughs> highway number one just a, in a little different spot okay. happy girl Get it out of there a little bit. I thought, well, if we can roll it right over the 12. Foot. <laughs> so wide open again here, but the interesting the, the skips have missed a couple of their last shots looking to blank. First it was Saskatchewan Cherry Anderson and yep, Pauline yep. Jones missing the yep. blank opportunity yep. in four. Yeah, right, just to keep it there. Yep, yep, yep. Right up. Good speed. Now Anderson will get another chance. Flank it here in five and take the lead to the fifth end break. Now is this about the same spot as she threw in the third end when she I tried to flank? So. Yeah. I think it might be. Oh, well, she's got the gripper off now. So the slide took 7.43. We'll have to check the run next time. Yeah, let's get rid of this yeah. roll out, guys. Keep the hammer first. Yeah. Hey girl, F.E. straight to it. You can do it. What? Tough blank on that inside out. You know. Yeah. So Colleen will have some thoughts in the fifth end break if uh, this shot is made as to their approach for the second five. But first, trying to roll out. It's your heel. Yeah. Whoa. Roll it this time, and she will. Well, I tell you what, it's been a fast five. Three, two, Saskatchewan leads as we go to the break. Between Saskatchewan and Team Canada, we thought with two for Saskatchewan early, it would be full of score, but no, it's three, two, going to five. It's a beauty. The 2002 Ford Focus SE. The top prize in this year's Ford Hot Shots here at the Scott Tournament of Hearts. Second and third prizes, RCA Televisions. It came down to just two players trying to make the six different shots maximum five points per shot. And the two players, VCs, Christy Lewis and Manitoba's Jennifer Jones. And Christy Lewis did more than keep up with Jones. She won it easily as Lewis, in her first appearance as a skip at the national championship, made this beautiful hit and roll to the back of the four to pick up four points. Second place goes to Jones, and third place to Nova Scotia's Candace McLean. The winner of the Ford Focus SE is Cool Hand Lewis here at the...
Team Canada huddling. They trail by one. Fifth end break. Saskatchewan will have the hammer in the six. When you bring Canada's best curlers together in the festive Bavarian atmosphere of Kitchener-Waterloo, there's only one word to describe it. Wonderstar! Hey! Next February, the Scott Tournament of Hearts returns to Ontario. Come see the stars shine and experience the great party hospitality in Kitchener-Waterloo. When you put it all together, it's... Boom Papa! The biggest smiles and the best of times. The Wonderstars, the best on ice, yeah, Wonderstar. Boom Papa! We're in Brandon at the Keystone Center for this year's Scott Tournament of Hearts. John McClellan is the uh, Corporate Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Scott Paper, and always nice to see you, although I'm a little jealous. Do you want to admit where you've been? I've just gotten back from two wonderful weeks of vacation in the South. Well, listen, in this cold here in Brandon, that'll just all chip away very quickly. <laughs> nice to see you again, sir, and uh, congratulations on 21 years. And we say this every year, but it just continually seems to have a momentum of its own. It's been a great run, and uh, when we uh, first entered into this in 82, I don't think any of us would have envisioned uh, it spanning a 21-year uh, duration back. And you have great communities when you think about Brandon again this year, wanting to host it, doing such a wonderful job. Next year, Kitchener-Waterloo, the fact that cities are coming to you and saying, we want to host the Scott. I think that's a uh, it's a tribute to the to the sport. Uh, the uh, the level of awareness that exists now versus 21 years ago is heightened to the point that it is a major venue for uh, for the communities that are vying for. And I'm and I'm told as well the employees across the country. You've got a lot of customers who are coming on board and saying there's a greater awareness not only of the Scott product but of women's curling. There's the, um, uh, the benefits of an enduring uh, relationship that we, uh, we are recognized now uh, with our customer community uh, and this event. We're synonymous with the event. And they have uh, been able to uh, utilize that to, uh, to their advantage. Well, congratulations to you. Uh, I know that sometimes corporations look at things and maybe look at the dollars and cents, but it's nice to see that it's paying off both for you as a corporation and for the sport. Thank you very much, Faith. John McClellan. Congratulations, Brandon. You've done another wonderful job with this year's Scott. In April 2003, they will travel across the globe to the center of the curling universe to renew an annual rivalry known as the Ford World Curling Championships. Can you hear it? Can you feel it coming on? A spirit touching us all. Together in Let's check the numbers after five we, before we start this sixth. Brought to you by True Value. Here's Linda. Well, you really do have the feeling that the first five were all Saskatchewan. Got the deuce right away. Great numbers. Look at that. 89% for Saskatchewan. Pretty good for Team Canada, but that opening miss by Colleen has really set the tone. The only real hint that Canada had at getting a deuce was in the second end. But you know what, Sherry Anderson, I told you she had the top draw percentage during round robin play of the skips. She makes a beautiful freeze here, and she does cut out the end. The one chance so far that Colleen Jones has had to generate some offense was eliminated because of this beautiful shot. So, so far, it's been all Saskatchewan. They were able to blank in five. They still have the momentum for the second five. Welcome you back to the Keystone Center here in Brandon. And we have a center guard and a chance for a possible hit and roll here. Saskatchewan with the hammer in six. The first come around attempt by Saskatchewan just rubbed on the front stone that was put up by Team Canada. It meant it rolled to the open, and we've seen an exchange of hits over on the edge of the 12th. Sandra Mulroney hangs it on the edge. It's imperative that Marianne Way stays here, otherwise Sherry will run off the front rock. 
Colgan had one other chance in the fourth end when yep. untimely miss by Kim Kelly slipped through the rings, Linda. And Three. Just, it's one of those, those opportunities right that you, you just got right. away from you. That was one of those open ones. The second end, they were really building something all in. The one and four just sort of appeared. And oh, oh, boy. Look at that. Spun on itself, and it is dead buried. What a wonderful roll by there. <laughs> yeah, and it just came back. Hey, back here. Hey, girl. The second great role she's got. She made two wonderful come arounds for them. Oh, you know that the Team Canada Three, front end will set up the stones. They just haven't had much of a chance so far. Have to power down so hard. Halfway. Okay, so pretty slick over here, eh? Regular. Five. Kim Hudson. Oh, no, off. Oh, off. Clean. Whoa, clean. Shot. Good girl. Coming up on Sports Center, Corey Schwab tries to replace Cujo. Wow, Joe Thornton, what are you doing? An update on the Scott. Preseason baseball and something foul coming up on Sports Center. Whoa. 10 30 Eastern Time. <laughs> I could say something like that with a couple of turkeys, but I would never say something like that. Hey. Oh, stop. Shoot. Too deep. Gives him a little better chance at the double. And you can see uh, Sherry lining up Let's exactly so she, this way, Kim. so she knows. Just firm, eh? Just firm. Okay. Hey, girl. Throws the up weight well, and Ray talks about that a lot. But if you have that in your bag of tricks, it's a huge benefit for the team. Good throw. Thanks. It's an easy split. I know, is it? You know, even if. No. No. Like the run back, like I'm afraid it's so tight, but I'm afraid even if we get half around it, she's jamming it back. Commit. Yep. I'll tell you what I don't. Are, are we sure about this shot? I'll tell you what I don't like about it. I don't like getting around it and giving her the easy run back. It's only two inches from the rings, and if she were to, if I were to hit and roll out ever, she's got a, uh, like if she picks me out. Yeah, I know. I like, I like, I like, right? like making, you know. Well, we got, you know, we got another seven, eight, nine, ten ends after yeah. this, so. Yeah. Eventually, you're going to have to play. 
aren't you? Well, <laughs> she, she doesn't have 10 ends after no, this. No, there's, no, there's only a 10 end game. But uh, she's got the seventh, the eighth, and the ninth, and the tenth. Is what she aren't say. you trying to force them to take one to get the hammer back? I think in this situation, you know, what she's concerned about, Vic, first of all, it's very close to the ring. She wouldn't want to have her tap it on and let her let, uh, Sherry three. get two. But uh, you, you got it. You're down. And fine, you're only guys. down one granite, and Lines you don't have the back. hammer. So if you can get this just a quarter around or even a half one. around, then. Can you leave it just for if a you don't dead bury, then they can't run back and stick as a guard right in front of you. And that's what they were saying at the other end. The weight looks perfect. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Doesn't matter. Hard, you guys, hard. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Sure, you can see about half of it. Okay, and there isn't a whole lot of room. I mean, I can freeze to it, but she freezes to me, and then I don't have anything. Got the other side of the button. Move for your one, for you two. No, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I don't. Um, so control right there. Room to freeze that guy or no? So just freeze and just pop first just to one. Yeah, yeah. flop off. Actually, not that. you can roll it right over. Just roll over. Would be ideal. This way here. Um, what kind of weight are you throwing? Just control. Here. Control. Okay. That's the kind of ice I gave you, okay. wasn't it? That yeah. your hair tight, but it moved. Okay. Hey, girl. Come just a hair last. Get inside that forefoot. Well. Just a little hey concerned right about the edge of the four-foot line. It does run for a while before it makes its break if you start in that spot. Yep, yep, yep! Control! Easy! Easy. Yep! Yeah. Whoa, oh. whoa, 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 whoa! Control! Oh. 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 Control! No, my fault. No. Oh, whoa. Kim, uh, I was just thing. saying I it, that I, I called the brushing too quickly. They that, jumped on yeah, it, it and that was my fault. And you got to be careful because that just you know, straightens them up a little bit. My fault all the 13. way. Yeah, no, it's very good. It's my fault. Okay, I'll give you a little more that you can sweep. And I want to ask you something. No, no, I mean that. Oh, it comes no, to no, mind about. You got Kim Hodson. We, we did sweep it a bit. As you and Linda, so you and Ray have said, not everybody can throw be a skip and throw the skip stone because of the pressure. But do you want somebody in the house as a third that well, knows the like game as wants. well as the skip? You want your whole team to know the game as well as your skip, really. And, but definitely the person in the house. And the nice thing about Kim, she also is very good at reading releases, reading angles, all the things that you need to do to call the line for your skip shot. So she adds a lot to the house. Line's fine. Wait there. Lots of room. Coming down some. Coming down. Got a lot of room, guys. We still have lots of weight, too. Just wait till the end and we'll we're deep. try to tuck it. We're deep. Doesn't really matter. Oh, we want to be in the house. We're, we're it does matter deep. because there's a split on the front. Go, 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 go. Go, Nance. Okay. Had to stay somewhere in the eight-foot area. Yeah, there's no question I have to stay in the, the rings. Way. She can see almost all Sorry. of it. Three quarters. I give you a hard time about that. I know what you mean. There's a look at it. Okay. So I'm playing for there. another blank here in six. For the peel. Yeah. Straight up. Straight up. <clears throat> hey, girl, Effie. Sherry Anderson leads by one. Yep, yep. Yep. Hard. Clean, love. Yep. Clean. Just clean. Just clean. Out of girl, sir. Nice Great sweep, guys. For the blank to maintain control of the hammer. 
We made jokes that it might be like this. We just didn't think they'd end up being 3-2 through six. Well, we thought when Saskatchewan opened with a deuce that we would see all kinds of rocks in play, all kinds of scores going up. But as we go now to seven, we've had two straight blanks. It's been very defensive. And so Saskatchewan maintains control of the hammer, leading 3-2. But we have a center stone, and now the come around, and this is the second lead stone for Team Canada's Nancy Delahunt. The one difficulty that Sherry Anderson has had in the attempts to get something going is Donna's rocks on the come arounds just haven't buried. One tick, this one stayed open. You saw Nancy hit the open yeah, rock. Stick it there. Out turn, come around. Solid mechanic, stays nice and high. Good flat-footed nice slide, stays very weight's square. Great. Weight's great. No weight there. Nice soft release. Yep. Got all the mechanics. So if you're going to make your move, if you're Team Canada, this is a great time to do it with Marianne Stones. Hurry, 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 hurry. Not around. Whoa, whoa. That's okay. More move it than they thought. I'm sure, you'll run the center line off I feel now. Feel it kind of thick. Leave that mm. other one over there, I think. No. Mm. Weight was perfect. I don't like that. I don't either. I'd like to just take it across the top here. <laughs> the team okay. doesn't. They were wanting to peel it the other way. Sherry concerned about jamming it. Tangible running. Before she even let go. Doinkage, I think. Yeah, this is why they are a little concerned to play it this way. All right. Had to let it go so it didn't jam. Let's try that again. Yeah, the weight yeah, was, really was perfect. Nice. Tell us to uh, let us know about early sleep if you need to. Notice how I just got around the okay. guard by, <laughs> by building a See, bridge. I wasn't going to hit it, I wasn't going to knock it off for sure. Nice it was weight. nice that you put the pebble good. on the line. And <laughs> Line's fine, you guys. Uh, We've got lots of room this time. Okay, wait there. Coming down, though. How many hours Top it took me to learn how to do that? Yeah. Yeah. It's just not an easy <laughs> thing to do, you know. Top four. Probably not. Top four. Yeah, go with it now. It's going to be deeper. It's going to be deep, deep, deep. I don't want to think. Nice, Marianne. Great shot. Lovely shot. Actually comes out the other side. Look at that. Wow. We'll have the semifinal for you Saturday evening and make a note of the time just a half hour before or earlier than we have in this week, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. Ontario awaiting the loser of this game. The winner will go right through to Sunday's final. Trying to come Hurry! through the hole. Whoa! Whoa! So we have to hit it skinny over the shot. It's all right. No, it's 25. Was that 25? one of those either or? Really? It was. They thought they could get through, and I think Sandra threw about the right weight. Just curled too much. So now Team Canada needs to make a series of good guards because if you leave a gap, 
there are hits and rolls possible. Leave it a bit if you can. Leave it a bit if Long you can. Long way to go. Rose. Halfway. Yeah, it's got to come a lot. Yep. Yeah, I better help it. Now, hurry. You got to get to the other side of center. Hard, hard, hard. 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 Hurry, 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 every inch. Hard all the way, you guys. Hard, 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 hard. Get it to the other side of center. And is there a Got gap it. there now? There's a hole there, Victor. Yep. Same thing. Control. Control. Big scrub. Mulroney low. Geniac high. Easy. Trying to oh, find the oh, hole. Oh, 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 oh. They do. And there's the roll. And it'll pop out the other side. Very nice shot. Pretty tough if they're going to play that kind of weight to hold the shooter any further in. Wanted to make sure they negotiated the port. Police forces the play out into the 12 foot. A lot of guards to roll here. A long way to come. Oh dear. Kick him. Split is there, but they've decided go, just Marie. to draw. Line's good, look up. Go. Okay. You gotta go for waiting. Yep, you gotta go. They were talking about interval times. Hard. We're still talking 14 Hard. seconds, hog to hog. Oh, that's Quick. a little light okay, now. Mulroney, Geniac, got it by, they do. Here comes Anderson, trying to drag it back. Far as it can go. Full in the eighth center line and buried. That's great brushing, they got it right over her hand, Linda. Two nice throws by Kim, and she definitely gave it to the brushers on that one, Ray. And that's what you want as a brusher, but it takes a lot of work. I'm not getting by these two. Yeah, we could do that too. Okay, you want to make sure you keep your center guy here. I really think it's a tricky outturn come around. I think we're going to rack on that red. Yeah. Colleen talking about an attempt to draw the forefoot between the two yellows around the red in the house and saying the finish is so severe, she doesn't think she can get by the, the one in the now. house to bury. Thus, the decision to play the run back. Jones and her first Charge! here in the seventh. Run it back, catch it. No, they'll drive it by. Too far apart to do half and half. Well, I like this. Nice throw. <laughs> I gotta split this way, though, eh? Yeah. They're going to try and split the stone, pushing it in this way. Well, yeah, hang it out and then let try it and split it. It'll Move this one over here. I mean, that's what I would take to draw the button. And roll over here. Yep. Yep. Mind you, I need a hair more weight, Kim. So. Yeah. Maybe a hair less. Hair less. Looks like a lot of ice. 
Let tell them to let me know, away. Eh? Where are you trying to put this? I'm going to split this. Yeah, yeah. Broom okay. side. Rub it over. Try to get. Now, what do you think? I need. Uh, Throw the tea line weight or better. Do you think that ice is okay? Like I know if I was out in the 12 foot, it'll swoop there with tea line weight. I think that looks like a lot if I throw back four or back eight weight. Yeah. Kim, give me a little less yet. Okay. The concern less being as soon as you add. No. No, that should be okay. Okay. To the draw weight, the stone goes that much straighter, and you don't want to go right bump, by this. Please. You want to make sure you get some contact with yeah. it. I want to make sure. Pretty nice. If you make a good split here and get them both covered, Colleen's Sorry. in big, big trouble. Okay, take your time, girl. One rock at a time. Take your time. Something on this side. Okay, FB girl, you can do it. Oh, that's lots. Okay, the uh, back weight. weight. Exactly what she called. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I have to make it three. Sorry, I thought I heard hack and I was a little panicked. Uh, no, they said back eight. Oh, did they? That's what I heard. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought I heard hack because I thought I was going pretty good. Well, Donna had a split on it, so she had a pretty good idea that it was pretty close, I think, Linda. You can see. I think Sherry's being a little picky. She was yes. sort of hoping the one that's rolled to the forefoot was actually a tiny bit higher, didn't get pushed quite so far because she did leave Colleen this in, this outturn draw. Around the two guards. Line three. Wait's there. Just let it come, guys. It's got a long way to come. Whoa, whoa. We're there. All there. All there. Okay. Ugh. It's not going to so, go. Wide open. Stay with it. Stay with it here. Stay with it. No, it's coming no, now. No, no, no. Don't want to take it deep. Oh, I don't know what to do with it. Just whoa, didn't curl whoa. for okay. her. Sit wide open. And this will be a big chance for three That's for Saskatchewan. Yeah. Too much here. Just a I had zero lines. Too much uh, ice. I thought it would come. I thought it would walk a lot more than mm. that. Sandra gave you a couple of hits here. That doesn't go she, crazy yeah. right here, does it? Off the line, into there. So, no. In fact, we we hit and roll that way, did we not? I think that looks fine for regular. I think regular to yeah. control, no more than that. Okay, take a couple, couple breaths. Do you think hey, any chance she could miss this? Important. Probably not, eh? Maybe, and Mohawk leaders in fuel, food, and convenience. Well, it was two blanks in a row. Sherry Anderson waiting for her moment, waiting for the chance to set up a big end. And it all sets up because of her first in this end. She makes a beautiful split. 
Now, they thought maybe it was a tiny bit heavy. She was a little upset because of where the rocks rolled because she left a draw. But to me, this is a beautiful shot. Corner of the one, split it behind the guards, roll behind the other, ends up getting three. That's the way to save your hammer. And no problem on the hit. Four three in seven. And a 6-2 Saskatchewan lead as we go to the eighth. And Team Canada, okay, Colleen well, Jones, no, needing to get some stones no, in play. Not. She's down by four. Well, she made it all the way to the finals at the Olympic Trials in Regina, and it looks very much like she's going to make it all the way to the finals here. It's certainly not over yet. That four-point lead is going to make it pretty tough on Colleen Jones and her Team Canada. The Saskatchewan team. That's a little less, isn't it? They know how to play defense, and that's hitting, and they'll step the weight a little bit, not big time, but they'll start hitting everything in sight. One of the benefits is they got such a lead, they didn't put a rock into play this end, they threw it through. That means as you're peeling these, you can play either turn. There are no jams into the house, and I would expect they'll play the outside in, and there you go. Remember earlier, they did have a nose hit, but that was because they were forced to play from the inside out. A little bit trickier turn. Oh! Clean, firm. 294. Just clean. Just firm. Go, Sandra. Chat it, girl. No, Sorry. I just put my hand down. <laughs> Mary Ann Way, way down there. And that was one thing in the last end. Mary Ann had the first chance to get in on an outturn draw. Yeah. She touched the guard, and that's unusual. We often see Mary Ann put those stones in the perfect place, and that's really where the troubles began for Team Canada. Right up. Come on, Kim. We got it. Good. Yeah. Let's sweep, you guys. Hey, girl. You can see Sherry taking a look at trying to maybe get them both. Taking a look at the angle. Sandra Balroni with the peel. See, this is where Linda, I, Ray, I wonder if teams like Colleen Jones look at this now and go, if we'd only would have tried yep. something earlier now, we wouldn't be in the eighth and four Wait. down. And, I, and that's tough to say because oh, hindsight and all that, but it's, it's a fact. Yeah. Now she's down by four and yeah, scratching here. Well, in fairness to her, uh, you know, she missed a wide open takeout in the first end to get herself uh, in trouble and gave up two. And then they had a chance uh, a little bit later on with and Kim Kelly out, you know, through one through, which is very unusual for Kim to do. And so she had a chance to get her deuce back. So she had a chance to get herself back into a tied game at one point. And then she decided in that uh, seventh end that uh, she would make a move by throwing up a center guard. And then, as Linda just pointed out, Marianne Way, who usually makes those things all the time, chipped on her front one. I don't know if they didn't have enough ice or just, uh, and that happens. That's what the game's all about. So she was in the first in, and then all of a sudden you saw Saskatchewan uh, take advantage of the situa situation. Well, and Sherry made a great split. Two, we're not, yeah. There's a two. They got two points in position Good. here. They mm -hmm. play one more out front, and there'll be another peel, and then they'll they'll probably go in behind the corner guard. It is frightening, though, Vic, to get behind against Saskatchewan, especially yep. when Kim's yep. throwing. She can really throw it well. 
The big weight, lots of spin, okay. roll yes. off these so stones and the shooter. And she's been impressive all week through round robin play. And in this game, look at these big numbers. Kim Hodson, 91%. Kim Kelly is throwing a great 80, and she's being outcurled by 11%. It's amazing. The player comparisons brought to you by Nokia. Light. Yeah. Hit hard, then. Well, you got lots of room. Whoa, you got room. Okay. You got room. Remember that spot. Oh. Awful slick. Still room. Yep. All room. Still room. No, we're good. You got lots At the of room. end, though, you guys. Yeah, you can go now. It'll vary. Keep it going. Hard. Right all the way back. All the way back. Way back. Good Kim. Good Kim. About half. About half. A little less than half. Nice shot by Kim Kelly. A piece exposed. Make sure we get one or the other, but. Because of the curl on the ice and the Just, uh, uh, positioning of that it. guard, she hey. can see she hey, feels about half of it. Focus. Where's my last weight there? My last shot. Just regular, yeah. eh? Zero. Yeah, no more. Now. Well, we know Colleen had the open hit in the first and that started the problems. But again, Cherry Anderson, 93%, perfect on her draws. It's really tough to play against that kind of skip and Colleen has been just a little off in this game. I think the main thing you can say from the game so far is just, it's been open, so yes, the numbers are often higher, but the right shots are being made by Saskatchewan. Other games would have been walking yeah. inside. Noticing a little difference Wait, in the ice. Good. Yeah. Line line we room. noticed it a little bit this afternoon, and Both especially room. moving to the eight foot. Now this means that perhaps the corner Under guard room. should have been a little tighter to center, we Ray. Real deep. Yeah, they're Doesn't just not matter. climbing up there like they, they did yeah. maybe midweek. Right back, right back, guys. Right back. Right here, they just sort of stop curling here. You can see that it's just sliding and it's just not going over. Throw. It's just straightened up there a bit. Right. Well, I think anymore. if I had, had, had real good, real good sweeping weight, I think it would have that yeah, would have worked. Still, yeah. yeah. Did we vary it? Yeah, you did. A little more than that. What do you think? Mm. Yeah, I know. That's just a so long. Mind you, my mark didn't finish up eventually. It was just lot. regular weight. Mm -hmm. Totally. What did they have there? Yeah. Ask them what your weight was, but I think it was regular. Uh, yeah, just 07, I think okay. she said. Oh, yeah, I think I can see enough of it. Can I have a look here, but... Yeah, well... Or... I can't see as much. No. But... It's just, it's getting out where it looks like it's gonna go. And then it kind of goes in straight. The thing back to the Olympic trials, Vic, when okay, we were talking about shots that cheap. were tough through ports and rocks that looked right. buried. And you remember, Sherry would just get in the hack roll. and say, oh, no problem, that, that port's wide right. enough. Yeah, 07, yeah. 12 inches, that should be wide enough, and away she went. Well, the game she played against this very same Colleen Jones, you can remember some of the shots uh, that she got by those guards, just with solid, solid bumper weight. Yeah, Hitting rock more. from nose. Yeah. Yeah. Final stone for oh, clean, clean. Saskatchewan oh. and Anderson. No, you're okay. Clean, clean, by. clean. Yep. clean. You're fine, clean. Oh. Wow. There's nothing oh, like getting in the hack and okay. really feeling oh, like the rocks yeah. at the other end are huge that you're hitting. She just oh, seems to be yeah, sliding so sorry. straight it's at the okay. target. But I couldn't, I couldn't see a whole bunch of it, actually. I was thinking that myself. <laughs> I was 
kind of leaning towards the breeze, but I never wanted to say it. One of these days is going to work. Yes. Nance, can I throw my intern over here by the... Yep. Thanks, Walt. Final stone here in eight. Colleen Jones and Team Canada will blank to maintain control of the hammer. Saskatchewan leads by four. The 2002 Scott Tournament of Hearts on TSN is brought to you by Scotty's Facial Tissue. Be soft, be strong. Earlier today, we saw Ontario Sherry Madaw winner over Jennifer Jones, so she's into Saturday's semifinal and awaiting the loser of this game. The winner moves right through to the final, so it will be either Saskatchewan or Team Canada against Ontario in the semifinal of this year. Scott will have it for you here on TSN Saturday evening at 7 Eastern. That's 4 Pacific. From here in Brandon. No. Trying to tick. Oh, Donna, sorry. Those are tough. They play it with enough weight that the shooter will roll away, but they can't move the Yellowstone all the way to the boards. So you have to catch such a little tiny piece. Just brushed it a little too late. Oh, sabotage. Good nuts. Feel away. This is where the argument uh, comes, Vic, for uh, the four rock wheel. Yep. Mm hmm. Hurry! Hurry! But in saying that, Ray, you and I both say that the three rock rule is not used that much. Nope. So uh, there have been opportunities, and we say that in lots of games, not just this one, where earlier in the game you could put up the one front rock and try to get something behind it. Yeah, I, I was just more referring to the fact that when the lead, when there is a lead like this, you know, Absolutely. the fact that you can get that, that uh, corner guard there could not be hit. So you'd have to go to the, you know, wait till the next shot. caught something. That picked. Well, as if we needed that. Here, wait. Oh. Yeah, it picked something. Huge. Curly hair. Right there. One of the advantages oh, that Sherry Anderson it. had at finishing clearly ahead was the choice of stones, and she did pick the red stones from sheet B. You can pick from any sheet. And those rocks did win 12 of the 17 games during round robin play. So it is a little benefit to finish clearly ahead, hammer in the first in, and choice of stones, and they picked the stones that they thought were the best.
<laughs> there's no question that there's no time troubles. Both teams with lots of time. Where'd that recovery time go? <sighs> Hey, girl. Yeah, focus tons of time. Kim Hodson, 6 2, Saskatchewan leading. Australian Grand Prix is coming up. Interesting to note, though, in final practice before the qualifying takes place, Ferraris were one and two. Schumacher Barrichello Villeneuve in the BAR, happier with the car. He was seventh in the final practice. You were saying yesterday, why is uh, Schumacher not using the new car? Why, what, why made that decision? Well, he just figures that it has to win again in the old car. The old car is good enough, and they. It's all, it's, yeah. it's all about the electronics in the cars, and uh, they haven't tested it sufficiently, so he'll go with the old car instead, both he and Barrichello. Now, would you say that he is a defensive driver or an offensive driver? Oh, he's a very yeah. aggressive yeah. driver. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So he goes for it. Absolutely. The first end, eh? Absolutely. That caught something, too. They were trying to hit it on the outside, and it went across. So they're going to have to be careful of the ice surface. Hard to say what it does out there. Bits of carpet, something in the air, in the arena, might be floating down. and no Vic is kind of a mild-mannered, quiet guy, then, as you know, but <laughs> we could tell them that when he gets in behind the wheel of a car, uh, you've all seen that goofy cartoon, you know, where you step out of the house and in behind the wheel of a car, <laughs> and he becomes a bad man. <laughs> so in about 20 minutes, people on the roads of Brandon should just kind of oh, yeah. pull to the side. Has these little gloves with the holes in the knuckles, you know, and he just slips them on. Yeah. 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 Kim, just a hair, last. Nothing working for okay, Team Canada, and it really is. The chance to peel this one off. It's a lot of running for Sherry. Brushing for Donna and Sandra tonight. Yeah. Well, yeah. Maybe. Terrific yeah. front end. Both of them are really. Donna Geniac, Sandra Mulroney for huh? Saskatchewan, and Mary Ann Way, Nancy yeah. Delahunt. Mind if you look at Iceland.
Line's great. Lots of room. Got room. Lots of room. Line's gonna be real nice. No, it's still out. Yep, if you can, yep. Line only. Yeah, no, okay, well, you, I'm just sweeping for line to get it to vary. Can you sweep it at all? Yep. Sweep it, sweep it, yep. Yeah, great back, Kim. Great back, hard as you can. Keep on it, keep on it, keep on it, keep on it. Good sweep. There's what, a good example when it gets to the 12 foot and it just it just won't go that little extra step because that got by the guard fairly closely and it just stayed there. And that's what we talked about that we saw a little bit this afternoon. It, it just uh, not going up in the 12 foot. Give me a hair last. A little last, Kim. Doesn't move too much here, guys. It's going to be quiet. No, it does not. Okay, take a breath, eh? You just did some cleaning there, you know. <laughs> Straight up. Sherry Anderson no. in her last. No. Their ability to defend a lead is impressive. And look out anybody that has to play them if they make it through this game against Colleen. Can't let them get up on you, that's for sure. Did one still free? I'm gonna take one. Don't yeah. lose there at all, eh? No. So they're gonna take one. <laughs> So she'll take her one here in nine. Saskatchewan up by three. Go to the tenth. A double corner still? Yeah. So we'll hold close to center though, like kind of just off the four foot line, still covering a piece of each. The 2002 Scott Tournament of Hearts on TSN is brought to you in part by Husky and Mohawk leaders in fuel, food, and convenience. By the Cake Steakhouse and Bar. For great steaks, good friends. See you tonight. By Whirlpool Home Appliances. Proudly supporting extraordinary Canadian women athletes and everyday champions across the country. And by JVC. Excite your senses. So to the 10th we go. Saskatchewan leading with the hammer, 6-3. First stone went up in front, and then Donna Jeanyak played a nice little tick. That's it's moved over now, covering the edge of the eight, and the second lead stone has gone out in front from Team Canada's Nancy Delahunt. Unless you get the wall right off signal. So another end to try and keep things clean. Donna Gignac with the out turn peel. Yes, hard! Very hard. It's not oh, necessarily hard. peel! Oh, wow, oh, wow, wow, wow! Oh, okay, wait, Kim, any roll, any roll. I got it. Ah. All right. All right. The dream is alive. <laughs> yeah, I'll switch with you right now. Please. Well, it's something to work with when you're down by three. Stranger things have happened. Weight's good. 
I'm fine. Mary Ann Way. Wait, yep. good. Yep. Nice. Great shot, Mary. Oh, didn't really matter what happened with that. They're just going to be peeling. Okay, Sandra. Help me out, though. Oh! You can hear Donna say, Come on, oh, Sandra. <laughs> Pick me up. That's what teams are all about. Help me out. I had a miss. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Help her out, she did. Shot. I don't think it matters. Gotta guard her up, though. I think we just have to guard and hope they miss the guard somehow. No, we, we need another guard on that one. What would have been the difference there? Colleen initially said, why don't we come in behind the corner, then the Nancy, let's guard the one in the house. I mean, the thought process is what? Well, you're trying to steal three oh. points. Yeah, you're it's desperate. Really you're desperate. Tough. Nothing. Yeah. In event, so they're saying well, well, to try another center guard and not hope for a nose hit. Maybe if it hits just yeah. a little bit off and you leave the one in the house plus the one out front, you can start to set things up. Mulroney's got the greatest body English when that one's mm -hmm. curling a little bit. You see her, she's got that kind of creep that we've seen before. Yeah, the God version. That's right. Thinking the more you creep to the side, the more you'll hold the rock out there. <laughs> Seemed to work. Have you seen uh, Vic lean when he slices one off the tee box? <laughs> yeah. Never seems to hold it, though. I don't think that would work. Lots of room. Lots of room. It's perfect. Take it right back. It's not bending at all. Go back then. Go back hard. That's exactly what we talked about. They won't get to the 12 foot. Uh, they, they didn't this afternoon either. We didn't have much play in the 12 foot this afternoon. But. I, guess we heal, but that's I wonder if that is a result of the, the lack of air movement and maybe a fewer games because we did see some people, you know, hit roll, draw behind. Heel. Corners that yeah. were, or, or yeah. stones which were right on the edge of the 12. Early, usually, early in the week. Early in the week. Mm -hmm. Usually there are four games in play during round robin. During the 3 4 game, Ray's ice note was about experience yep. because, Vic, we often do see this once we're down to the Hi. single sheet. So the more experienced teams right will up. know they have to right make up. a little oh, adjustment in the placement of guards oh, and the amount it. of ice to take. Let's get Sorry. Kim. I love the freeze right now. Sports Center coming right up. NHL. I like to come around that calling called, first of all. Behind the guard. You can always freeze to that right one. Yep, so a little less. It's a long corner guard out there, yellow guard. It's playing the freeze. Shy, I think. Well, if you can. Mine's great. It's pretty close. Mine's great. Well, if you can. You're always hoping that you don't have to go over the, the plan on this one, though, Ray. Down three, trying Coming to steal down. is not oh, usually yeah, the one you as a no. team have to discuss. Oh. And it really is a desperate time. Nice shot, Kim. Great shot, Kim. Very nice. I need the jam. Can you see that, Kim? You got half of that. I think just take this off. Okay. Or that. Yeah, top one's fine. Yeah. Uh, 
Keel here before, but I don't know if she wants. If she wants. I'm throwing peel, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No. Whoa. Right off. Ah. Uh, not at all. Curl. Clean. Big You're weight. Okay. Got enough. Okay. Oh, and just oh. very nice. Well, her numbers came up a couple moments ago at 93%. Uh, she really has played well, and you don't want to leave her the hitting game because Kim is so accurate. Well, that's all the better because then we come back and boom, boom, boom. Scotty giving the thumbs up to that hit. If she guards, then we'd come around, we'd have to come around and bump, bump, bump. It's it. Free. How far do you want me to bump Last this? Drop. I don't know, do we need to bump it yet? So Colleen Jones and Team Canada in danger now being run out of stones. As the crowd responds to Sherry Anderson and Saskatchewan fans. 20 going for it? Pardon? Knowing that it's only for? a matter of time, Double they'll see their it. team go right through to Sunday's final and Team Canada will okay. have to refocus for like their game, know. their semi-final against Ontario. And I don't think Colleen will ever have any trouble doing that, Linda. Too experienced. Too experienced, but it's been a tough day. They've had a lot of things not go their way, so they have to hope that the semifinal game will be a lot different. Clean all the way. Hard clean. Yep. 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 Clean. Saskatchewan. This year's Scott with a 6-3 win. While Team Canada will get a second chance in the semifinal against Ontario. The 2002 Scott Tournament of Hearts on TSN is brought to you by White Swan Paper Towels, bathroom tissue, and napkins, all in the family. Now it's time for the TSN Turning Point, and it's brought to you by Super 8. Well, it's clearly in the seventh end. Two blanks, hold on to the hammer, wait for your chance, and this is a beautiful split on Sherry Anderson's first rock in this end. She's going to get a chance to move a rock that is wide open in behind cover. Roll behind cover on the other side. Didn't leave Team Canada and Colleen Jones very much to try and get out of this end. Look at this perfect weight. Spill them both. Colleen tried to get into the house, but on the last rock, Sherry Anderson has an open hit. We've seen this team many times. They're not going to miss these. This is a huge three, and this is a route to the final. As Saskatchewan goes on to win it 6-3, to three, a cash donation will be made to the Coaches Association of Canada on behalf of TSN and Super 8 Motels. Clean, friendly, all the room you want. So Saskatchewan goes to Sunday's final. We'll be back with you with the semi-final. It'll be Colleen Jones and Team Canada against Ontario and Sherry Madaw. And note the time, one half hour earlier than round robin, 7 Eastern, that is 4 Pacific time, Team Canada against Ontario. Stay with us, Sports Center is coming right up. 
until we talk with you again Saturday at 7 Eastern, Team Canada against Ontario in the semifinal of the Scott. On behalf of Lyndon Ray, thanks for joining us. This has been a presentation of TSN, Canada's sports leader.